Hi Emily, thanks for your question. So we are given this picture with a little wheel and a big wheel, um, which I've used the labels B and S for, B for big of course, S for small. And the little wheel has a radius of 15 centimeters. The big wheel has a radius of 25 centimeters. And we're given that the angular velocity or the angular speed of the smaller wheel is 600 revolutions per minute. This funny little doohickey there is called omega. I'm just going to use that to denote our angular speed. So our first question that they would like us to answer is finding the angular speed of the smaller wheel in radians per minute. Well, since they already gave us the angular speed of the smaller wheel in revolutions per minute, and we know that one revolution is two pi radians, because two pi takes us all the way around the circle once, what we're going to do is we're going to put two pi radians in there instead of one revolution. So we have 16, or I'm sorry, 600, I meant to say, two pi radians per minute, which gives us 1,200 pi radians per minute for the angular speed of the little circle. Okay, now let's find the linear speed on the smaller circle. Um, if we want to find linear speed, I'm going to go ahead and denote that, uh, let's call it V, Vs. So the linear speed on the smaller circle, that's equal to the angular speed in radians per minute times the radius. So the angular speed of the smaller circle in radians per minute was 1200 pi radians per minute. And then we have that the radius of the smaller circle is 15 centimeters. So the linear speed on the smaller circle is 18,000 or 1,200 times 15 pi. We can go ahead and ditch the radians at this point, and our units are going to be centimeters per minute. Centimeters per minute. There we go. Now they want us to find the angular speed of the larger wheel in radians per minute, and we're going to use the fact that um, because of the belt, the linear speed's actually going to be the same at both of these points on the little and the big circle. Okay, so the angular, I'm sorry, the linear speed, we'll call it V2, or I'm sorry, VB, all this subscript running around, it's a tough question. All right, the linear speed on the bigger circle is the same thing as the linear speed on the smaller circle, which we just determined was 18,000 pi centimeters per minute. Well, we also know that the linear speed on the bigger circle is going to be the angular speed on the bigger circle times the radius of the bigger circle. So, if we just want to find the angular speed, what we can do is divide the radius out of both sides of this equation. The radius of the bigger circle was 25 centimeters. So let's divide 25 centimeters out of this equation. And we get that the angular speed We'll write this out in a way that makes it easier to see. I'm only going to write out the left-hand side of this equation here. Okay, so the, um, 
angular speed of the bigger circle is 18,000 pi over 25 centimeters per minute, which pulling out our handy dandy calculator is 720. The centimeters are gonna divide out here, so we'll just put our radians back in. Radians, oops, forgot my pi. There's a pi in there, 720 pi radians per minute. Okay, and the final question asks us to determine the angular speed of the larger wheel in revolutions per minute. Good Lord. Okay, well, we're going to use our angular speed in radians per minute to do that. We know that um, because of what we learned above that there is one revolution for every two pi radians. Well, we're gonna go ahead and use that conversion factor in here if we wanna convert to revolutions. So we have that WB is equal to 720 pi radians per minute. And we know that there's one revolution for every two pi radians. The pi and the radians are going to cancel out, and what we're going to end up with is 360, or 720 divided by 2, uh, revolutions per minute would be our units. Okay, and I'm sorry I said that was W, I meant omega. So that was a really good question. Thanks for sending your question, Emily, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.